protesters holding tax day marches and rallies all across the country this weekend. Demonstrators calling on President Trump to release his tax returns, saying Americans deserve to know about any potential conflicts of interest. Brian Yannis is live from Bryant Park in New York City, and this is a campaign that continued throughout the election, and he's now president, and it continues. Hi, Brian. Hi, Julie. That's exactly right. Tax day march, April 15th, is usually the drop dead deadline when it comes to filing your taxes, and that is why organizers around the country have staged these marches in 150 cities plus thousands of people demanding that President Trump release his taxes. You can just take a look right now. Here are people right now that are marching in the middle of midtown Manhattan. They're also marching in Washington, D.C., as well as in Chicago. What are they demanding? They want his tax returns because they say it'll prove whether or not he has any ties to foreign banks or foreign governments. They say it'll give us an idea of his charitable, uh, whether or not he's what kind of what kind of donations he's made to charities and so forth and they also point out that this was a precedent presidents since Jimmy Carter last 40 years have released their tax returns so uh, listen to some of the people we spoke to today about why they're here he could be hiding a lot of things he could be hiding associations and financial entanglements with the Russians for instance I'm not the only one thinking that a lot of people who know a lot more than I do are saying that you know why don't you come clean can you trust a president who doesn't release his tax returns on tax reform no no simple as that no if you want to run for office release your tax returns so there you have it and also but here's at at the same at the same moment though we have republicans and trump a lot of trump supporters who say look the tax return came out about a month ago on the highly publicized show on our other network about the 38 million dollars he paid off 150 million dollars that he made in 2005 they also point out the trump campaign in the white house they say look he's not going to re release his tax returns this was an issue that was debated in the campaign the people voted for him he's president and kellyanne conway said in january that he's not going to release these tax returns and so we'll see whether or not he does the white house consistently says look his tax returns are being audited and that is why he can't release them although that by law that is you know he is allowed to still release them so this is going to be a continuous debate these protests are around the country the point is also they believe to continue the momentum against Trump this isn't just about his taxes this is the continued momentum that they hope to build the same organizers that did the women's march a couple of months ago are the same ones that have really put all these rallies around the country Julie Eric I know that uh, those protesters are just dying to get their signs on camera, so watch out. I don't want you getting hit by some kind of piece of large cardboard or something. Yeah. I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> Love you, Brian. Thanks, Julie.